<laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. This is Yvonne. As you know, I am coming to you from Knitsburg Yarn Shop, 313 Freeport Road in Bloodox. Um, I wanted to talk to you today. I don't have a box to open, um, but I wanted to let you know that we have lost our lease here. And I know that many of you are going to say, but wait, you only opened in January. That's true. We did only open in January, but we had possession of this space from November because it took us two and a half months to paint, prep, tear down walls. Um, you know, the landlord put a floor in. Um, so it's taken us a long time to get it ready for you to be able to come in and buy yarn. And then we opened in January and we've been here. But we've, um, we've since lost our lease. I've tried to renegotiate and we just can't afford to continue going on. So this is going to be quick. It's like a band-aid. Rip it off. Get it over with. So Jen, who is manning the camera today, is having... just like a band-aid. <laughs> and I have to say, you guys, that I'm really ultimately I'm okay with this. Um, many of you may or may not know my mom has Alzheimer's and she lives about three hours away, and so there's a lot of you know family considerations that are going on. I, I haven't spent a weekend with at my house for, I don't well, this past weekend I did because I scheduled some time off for myself. But anyway, ultimately, it's going to be fine. I'm fine. I hope you're fine, too. I'm fine. Because it'll be fine. Jen's going to be fine. <laughs> so, with, um, without further ado, I'd like to say a few things publicly. First, I would like to say some thank yous. Uh, Jen, who's holding the camera, and um, her husband, Tom. It, I can't say enough good about these two people because, um, and here's where I'm going to get teary is talking about the people that I love. Uh, Tom came with me many times looking at spaces to see, you know, if we thought it would be a good fit. And, you know, Jen's like, sure, go with you on. It's okay. <laughs> well, have, know, fun. Like, have fun. Have <laughs> fun. Take my husband. See you later. <laughs> Um, and then Tom set up our website. Jen spent a lot of time with me shopping, choosing yarn, um, painting, painting, more painting. Tom came, did Tom come in and paint? Mm -mm. Tom, I didn't think so. We've spent a lot of time together, the three of us, and, um, like, I really, really appreciate everything that Tom and Jen have done for me. Jen also, if you don't know, is in charge of the newsletter. So when you get your newsletter, that is Jen writing all of that. All the words. All the words. Um, Andrea, who has been working at another place during the summer but still is employed here, she also, you know, is a really big supporter and has been a really big supporter. She gave me a lot of guidance. Um, she's got a lot of background in yarn. She's got a lot of knowledge. She's super smart. And she was also an extremely, extremely big part of encouraging me to open this shop. Um, Jessica, who is the new Mrs. Decker. Mrs. Decker. Congratulations. <laughs> um, but Jessica helped choose the color schemes for the shop and, um, you know, painted, taught me how to spackle, all kinds of fun mm. things with Jessica. David also spent a lot of time looking at spaces with me and um, talking to me about what we should look for in a spot, you know, spent a lot of time here painting, scraping, and generally getting things ready for us. Um, Robin and Annie both were fundamental with financial donations and outpouring and Jan also um, financial contribution for us being able to open um, Diane also who came in and helped us paint one day or two days and then some of our biggest you know customer supporters Amy Ayala Doug Becky I can't name all of you Annette you know actually Donna everybody mm -hmm. who's come in here um, and has spent some amount of money Sarah Mary the, the list would go on and on I would look like I was you know that person in Cinderella with a big scroll <laughs> if I had all of it's those too bad things. we didn't have more time yeah. we could have rigged that up we could have <laughs> you know um, everybody who came in here and bought something I appreciate you so very much. Um, Anna, who also is, uh, Anna works here, 
Anna does the blog and she has control of the Instagram account and so and Facebook and Jen and Andrea also have Facebook access. Anna is the social media but queen Anna's though. The social media Anna queen. Anna is where so, it's at with social know, media. And she knows every pattern that's there on Ravelry. She, when you say I want to knit that thing and I saw it and both, she knows exactly what it is. She has the Ravelry in her head. So Anna, thank you. And then um, Michelle, who used to own Spool, that recently closed Michelle, has been a big help in just support from one small business owner to another. So if I've forgotten to mention your name or I didn't mention your name specifically, that doesn't mean that I don't thank you because I do thank you. Um, <clears throat> a couple of notes we would like you to use your gift certificates or store credit as soon as possible oh, were you okay oh, oh look, I my notes. Um, <laughs> and we're going to have our shop samples on sale this is not one of them this was made for me by brian brian i love this and um, but we do have shop samples that we've labeled for sale, and also some of our fixtures are going to be on sale. We have Over many here. IKEA units, if you're not aware. Let's take a look around. Do to do. <laughs> oh, Jenny, uh, oh, I'm dropping a pocket. dollar. That's funny. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're going to mark them, and they will be priced sale as marked, like no additional discount off of those guys. Um, as far as our ball winder and swift setup, everybody comments, boy, this is the ultimate in ball winder and swift. Well, instead of trying to sell it, because it's uh, about $700 in value, 610 for the ball winder and the motor, and then another 100 for that swift, we're going to raffle it off. So, starting now, you can come in, you can purchase a raffle ticket for $5.00. Five bucks. Five for $20. Mm -hmm. And then on the last day that we are here open for business, we will draw a name and we will give away that ball winder and swift combination. Um, let's see. Are they off? Also, to go back to thank yous, I'd like to thank Danielle of Fiberspace because Danielle is the one who hooked me up with Moxie Designs that created our logo. So that is our fantastic logo. Mm -hmm. Moxie Designs, Moxie. thank you very much for your help. Danielle, thank you for hooking me up with her. Um, if you have an outstanding special order, I have some Barocco yarn on the way. I have some Stonehenge yarn on oh. the way. <laughs> and Zula yarn is on the way. <laughs> and if you ordered something from Fiber Nymph, I know there are a couple of you that have Elvis has left the building on order and a cowl kit. Um, I'm going to give Lisa of Fiber Nymph Designs your contact information and she will be in touch with you directly to take care of those orders. Um, and then, I, let me just touch real quick on the sale. Um, we're going to be very quick about that. Like a band-aid. Like a band-aid. Mm -hmm. um, sale dates are going to be Friday, Saturday, and ten Sunday, October 13th, 14th, and 15th. The 15th is going to be the last day. And we'll have you watch the newsletter and Facebook for sale details. We're going to do it as if you purchase X amount, you get Y amount of discount as opposed to just doing a flat discount rate, and those discounts are not going to change. I'm sorry, we can aff cannot really afford a big discount because going back to people who loaned me money, I need to pay those people back. Mm -hmm. Um, my last note really <coughs> is I'm going to encourage you to support other small businesses. Um, mom and pop shops are going by the wayside. Knit, knit stores, yarn stores, bead stores, you know, your fiber craft stores are going by the wayside. And that's because people are buying online, people are coming in and doing what we call showrooming, where you come in and you go, oh, look at this pretty yarn. I like this, but I know that XYZ website mm. has it for lower than what you've got it for. Well, um, it's for that reason that people like me are closing. Um, so take some time, look around you, look in your community and see what small business you can support. There are many other yarn stores in the area, Oakmont, Yarns by Design, 
Carol over at Dyed in the Wool, Knit One, Kid You Not, Sewickley Yarns, Kathy Zimmerman at Kathy's Creations, um, Rags Fiber mm -hmm. Earth, and Tony, I know that you have some odd hours and things like that, but all of, in Darn Yarn, Needles and Thread, Lisa up in Harmony, all of these people would appreciate your support. So please make sure that you, um, we have somebody coming in, make sure that you support each and every one of these or as many of these small businesses as you can. Um, and with that, I, I think that's kind of it. So again, I appreciate everything that you guys have done for us since January. And as far as what I'm going to do when I get done with this, I'm, I have a lot of gnomes to knit. So they're waiting. They're waiting. Gnomes to be. Yes. All so right. Thank you again. If you have any questions, uh, shoot us an email, knitsburgyarnshop at gmail.com. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.